Hi, I'm Matt and welcome back to another Careful Space Program video. In this video I'm going to be showing you how to restock a space station using an SSTO. So we're going to be using this SSTO, the Elysium, which is a cargo vessel capable of taking a payload of about 8 tonnes into low Kerwin orbit. has RCS thrusters to allow it to dock as well and a docking port on its nose. So there we go, powering up our rapiers. We've got 10 rapiers on this, this SST here. We need a lot of thrust to be able to get us up into orbit. So to design this SSTO, I used a program, a Python program that I wrote myself, um, in which I used uh, rocket science formulae, specifically the delta V equation, to calculate how much fuel I was going to need, so I could calculate the amount of liquid fuel I would need and the amount of rocket fuel that I would need to get it into space. If you're interested in how I went about writing that program, I can show it off in another video. Turning our rapiers onto closed cycle mode and breaching the atmosphere. There we go, just need to set up our circularization manoeuvre. We're going to get into a stable orbit of about 100 kilometers and then we'll do a transfer from there to the space station which is currently orbiting at 200 kilometers. Because of my shoddy ascent we need to do a small inclination burn just to get us online with the space station. There we go, we can set up our intercept burn. So you want to aim to be getting as close as possible and you might need to move the node around a bit. So there we go, performing our intercept burn. I used about 100 meters per second of delta V. So there we go, we're just coming up to the space station. We need to burn retrograde compared to the target to slow our speed. I was a bit late doing that, so I ended up about 0.5 kilometres away. So there we go, after a bit of faffing, I got close to the space station. And to do this, you just want to burn towards the space station. And then, when you get close, you want to burn retrograde until you get close enough to use your RCS thrusters. Because of how heavy the SSTO is, the RCS thrusters are not as efficient as they normally would be. So there we go, coming up to dock. Don't worry if this takes you a few attempts, what I recommend is making a quick save using the F5 button when you get close. So if you get something wrong you can just revert to that using F9 and that's what I did to get there. I didn't do it first long time like in this shot. Right, there we go, let's go open our cargo bay and then we can transfer the fuel out from, into the space station. You need to be careful make, to make sure that you don't uh, turn on your engines while you're doing this. So there we go, undocking. Now we're just going to use our RCS thrusters to burn retrograde. So we get far enough away from the space station. Then what we're going to do is we're going to decouple from the fuel tank. Just spin round. Close up our cargo ray so we don't need to take that back down with us. Because although it's empty, the tank still weighs um, about two tonnes. So there we go, burn retrograde so it's not near us. So this is me moving the fuel further towards the nose because you want your centre of mass to be in front of your centre of lift. 
unfortunately because my centre of mass was so close to the middle of the space rock, I'll re entry it means that if you don't have enough um, horizontal stability, you will start spinning around, which is what happened. Uh, which can be quite difficult to get out of. So here we go, re entry. You see the um, temperature bars, there we go, spun out. You see the temperature bars starting up by the front of the aircraft, that's because of the RCS thrusters, they have a low heat to load. So there we go, turning on our rapiers now, breathing them. And to get out of this sort of dive, you need to uh, burn downwards to get some speed up, and then start to pull around. I was quite close to the mountain, a bit too close for comfort. And there we go, just fly it like, like a normal aircraft. The aircraft will fly very differently from when you take off because of the amount of fuel that's been lost so it will be a much more agile and a bit bitey. So, like you can see in these shots. So there we are coming down, just about to touch down on the runway. You want to be aiming to touch down at about 70 metres per second. You might want to go a bit quicker. But be wary that the aircraft takes a bit longer to touch and uh, to break um, my previous aircraft. Too. There we go, just turning on off the SAS so I can put my nose on. So there we go, back on Kerbin. If you like this video and want to see more of them, leave a like and a comment and subscribe to the channel.